Anthony, there has been a lot going on, to say the least. What have these last few camps, or last few weeks of camp been like for you? Uh, you know, things have been crazy. Uh, the world is, in a, is just in a terrible place right now, so you gotta, you know, you gotta improvise and, 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 and just figure out how to make it work. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people heard about the, the intruder in my house, so, you know, I d dealing with the, the situation with my kids. And, uh, and just trying to make sure everyone in my house feels safe, uh, along with trying to train for, you know, a, a, a top of the division fight with one of the most dangerous guys out there. I mean, it's obviously a lot on your plate, but I've got to imagine you found some inspiration and maybe motivation from the situation that happened and your children and your family. How have they kind of propelled you through camp? I, I, I mean, when the guy was in the house, uh, you, you have two decisions. You, you flee or you fight. Uh, and, and my kids uh, and my wife were, were extremely brave. They, they, they pushed through, they, they kept their heads up, uh, and, and they just dealt with things as they came. And, and if they're going to do that in, a, in, in one of those kind of situations, then I can definitely uh, pick my head up, push through practice, uh, get to this fight. And if I find myself in a difficult situation, I think that the things like that can help you. Um, you know, bravery in places you wouldn't expect it are some of the, is, is some of the most inspirational things you can ever see. Very well said. Okay, let's talk about this fight then with Glover Teixeira. Um, this is a really interesting one. Both of you extremely well-rounded fighters, brilliant grapplers. I know this one came about at the quintet grappling match. You kind of match made for yourselves, but you had some comments that I have to ask you about, about saying I will be the first man to submit him. I, I want to see where your thoughts are in terms of the advantages on the ground. I think that Glover's probably the better grappler from the bottom. Uh, he is good off his back. He, he does a really good job of staying safe there. Uh, he's mobile. Uh, he doesn't lay flat too often, which, which typically, you know, the bigger, a little bit older guys do tend to stay flat. Uh, I'm probably the better grappler from the top. Uh, I'm more of a mobile passer. Uh, I punch well uh, for, and, and get to dominant positions uh, a little bit better than he does. He is. He's probably the better wrestler, I would think, as far as initiating the shots. But I think that in the clinch situations that I'm probably the better fighter. So I think we actually complement each other pretty well. If you could put us together into one person, we'd be pretty tough. <laughs> All right. So you're, you're both great grapplers. But then we would be remiss not to speak about your knockout capabilities. 35 knockouts between the two of you. Um, if this stays on its feet, Anthony, what do you see? I see, I see Glover having a hard time on our feet. Uh, again, I don't have any problems complimenting him. Uh, he's, he's the more powerful striker uh, in terms of raw punching power. But I'm faster, I'm more accurate. Um, uh, I, I, my volume is higher than his, uh, and my chin is, is better than his is. Um, but I'm not going to take anything away from him. He's, he's extremely powerful. He, he, what he does do is, is, is very, very good. He, he doesn't have a whole bunch of tricky stuff. He's very, he's very basic, but uh, every coach in the world will tell you basics wins fights. So uh, he, he's just as dangerous now as he's ever been. He wanted to get back in earlier. His last action was against uh, Alexander Gustafsson in Sweden. That came last June, so almost a year-long layoff. It's been quite the roller coaster for Anthony Smith, who wanted this fight and expected it to happen in his home state of Nebraska. Instead, it was something else at home that created headlines. Megan O'Leavy with more on that. Thank you so much, guys. Well, on April 5th, a little after 4 a.m., Anthony Smith was asleep at his home in Omaha when his wife frantically woke him up, telling him there was someone in their home. In fact, there was an intruder who was screaming at the top of his lungs, making his presence known. So Anthony jumped out of bed and came face to face with the man, and they immediately started fighting. His wife went to the children's bedroom. They have three kids, so they wanted to be able to make sure they were secure and hide them while Anthony was fighting the stranger in their home. So while that was happening, thankfully, the intruder did not have a weapon. Anthony's wife called 911, and Anthony subdued the man until police could arrive. And he actually shared some more from that experience with me this week and how it infect, affected his mentality leading into this fight. I, I think everyone in life wonders what, the, what they would do uh, when a situation like that happens. Like, I think, I think you hope you do the right thing or, or, or the brave thing, but nobody actually knows until it happens. I, I ran into a dark room with a screaming psychopath at four in the morning knowing that I was going to die. Uh, and, and I was okay with it, uh, given the circumstance. 
I'm not sure that there's anything ever in life again that's going to bother me. You know, like I, I've been searching for, for those, that one thing that, that's going to shake me. And still, it hasn't happened. Uh, I, I ran into death. Uh, at the time, that's how I felt. I ran into that. I don't know what Glover Teixeira is going to do to me that's going to that's gonna shake me off my game. Uh, but so far, that, that thing doesn't exist. As it turns out, Anthony's home was actually the second one the intruder got into in the neighborhood. He attempted to get into several more as well. And Anthony told me, yes, life has changed for he and his family. But this has certainly added a different type of inspiration and motivation for his performance against Glover Teixeira. Guys. Thank you very much, Megan. Uh, fighting as sport is certainly different than what Anthony Smith had to deal with. Yeah. Been your thoughts on, on kind of coming back from something like that? Well, as you say, he was fighting for his life there. And it's funny because, well, it's not funny. When I was 17, I encountered something similar. A guy came into my house wielding a, a canister of gasoline and a hammer tried to kill me. But listen, things worked out a little differently because I was terrified. Anthony fought the guy off. He yeah. beat him up, essentially, and, and won the fight. I was, as I say, I was absolutely terrified. I'm a little concerned from what Anthony said there, though. I mean, I understand understand there he was fighting for his life so yeah. therefore the, 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 the levels aren't the same tonight in the octagon but adrenaline is, mm -hmm. is a fighter's best friend it helps your instincts helps your speed your power your reflexes what do you think Dan? Also Mike you know I, I kind of picked up on the same thing also like nothing else is ever going to scare me mm. so what can Glover Teixeira do to me that is a very different situation than fighting to protect your family opposed to fighting for sport and for things to come next. I, I think that because he's never going to be afraid of anything anymore, he has to be very careful not to underestimate the threat yeah. inside the octagon. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.